Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today we'll see how to create a Cloud SQL instance which is going to incur the lowest cost as much as possible. This is basically for self-learning purpose. Say for example, uh, there's a new person who wants to learn Cloud SQL. Uh, it could be MySQL, Postgres, uh, or Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, because it is for learning purpose, self-learning purpose, uh, let's see how much we can reduce the cost. Um, and how effectively we can use. So this uh, process of making a cost effective solution can definitely help us in the long run when we design a very complex system. So each and every component, we can design it with the uh, cost in mind. So let's see how to do this. Let's get started. All right, we are in our GCP console. So first of all, let's go and see the, the, the billing uh, Yesterday also I had created a video on billing and where we had looked into cloud uh, storage, cloud storage and uh, compute engine billing we had seen. Now today since we are going to do something on uh, cloud SQL, I thought let me show you quickly the, the billing information. Now when I looked into the billing information, something which struck me was this word, low cost storage zonal. So what is this basically, I'm going to explain when I show you the actual demonstration. Low cost storage basically means a HDD magnetic disk not a HDD that is what they are not a SSD disk is what they are in, uh, indicating here low cost means basically HDD disk so that's something which strike me uh, immediately when I was looking into the pricing calculator and zonal so these two things can definitely reduce the cost so before we go to the pricing uh, like create an instance let's also look into the pricing calculator so if I just search for cloud SQL So I should get this and we can just key in the details and since I'm going to do something on MySQL, I'm going to use MySQL option. One instance, this is for self-learning purpose only and I'm going to make it as the lowest machine type, F1 Micro, our favorite virtual machine uh, configuration and I'm going to configure it in Singapore. So I'm going to choose Singapore as the region and this is the most important thing. So make it as HDD and in Cloud SQL, the minimum is 10 GB. So I cannot go uh, less than that. So I have to go with 10 GB there. And since this is for self-learning purpose, I don't need to take any backup. I'm going to mention as zero backup. And what I'm going to do is every day, eight hours only, I'm going to work on this. So I'm going to make this eight hours uh, and I'm going to work only for five days a week normal uh, this thing so let's click on add to estimate and see what could be the cost it's going to be three dollars basically so now let's try to implement this in our console so if i just go to my console click on mysql instance uh, let me show you what will make you be uh, make it to be the cheapest option so so cloud sql low cost now let me create a password. I'm going to select uh, Singapore because that was the pricing. And if I make it as US Central, it's going to be much cheaper. But I don't want to incur the network cost, all those things. So let me make it as Singapore. Any zone is OK. And I'm going to use the latest version because I'm doing a self-learning. And few things which we are going to consider is this is for only self-learning folks. Now, you would have seen various videos uh, in the channel where I would have emphasized more on private IP address. It was just a thought which, was, which I was thinking because it is for self-learning purpose, definitely we are not going to install any production data. This is only for learning how MySQL works, all those things. Now, if I make it as private, the only way to connect to this instance is via a virtual machine. Now, if then it's going to be an additional cost for me. The virtual machine cost also going to be there and Cloud SQL instance also cost is also going to be there. And I was just looking into the networking pricing. So if I have a Cloud SQL instance, I have a client in my laptop, so I'm going to connect it. So meaning it's basically an ingress cost. So ingress cost is totally free. So then I don't need to worry about this. So I can easily use a external IP address when I am using for self-learning purpose. So it's easy also. I can just whitelist uh, my 
laptop's IP address and I should be able to connect it. So I'm going to go with external IP address. And even if you see the pricing calculator, there's not much information about whether there's going to be any cost if it's going to have an external IP address or an internal IP address. So not much clarity is there. So I'm going to use with external IP address. So that's one uh, way to easily connect basically. And I don't need to have a virtual machine. So I can just use my client like MySQL Workbench or DB Visualizer or any client of your choice. So that's one thing. Coming to the machine type, I'm going to use the smallest one, F1 DB F1 uh, Micro. They mentioned there's no SLA, it's okay. This is only for self-learning purpose. Then the most important thing, low cost storage. So make it as 10. And I don't want to increase my storage. Let it be at 10. That is good enough for me for learning purpose. That's one important thing. Then coming to backup. So by default, it's going to be enabled. I don't need it for in this case. Turned it off and it is zonal only. If I make it as HA, it's going to be regional. So that's what you are seeing in the building. So if you see regional low cost meaning I have used high availability and I have made it as HDD. Now if I make it as zonal low cost basically it is single zone uh, and HDD. So that's the thing. So those are the options folks. If you make basically uh, with an external IP address F1 DB hyphen F1 micro with HDD 10 GB of uh, storage uncheck your enable automatic storage increase then make sure there's no backup so if you do this definitely it's going to be a cost effective uh, cloud sql instance so just click on it and it's going to provision it and once it is provisioned it uh, i'll just show you how you can achieve this one every day only for uh, eight hours you are going to do and uh, five days a week is what you are going to do. How do you do that? Let me just show you. Let's wait for a couple of minutes for our instance to be created. So let's wait for that. I'm going to pause it. All right, the Cloud SQL instance is provisioned with an external IP address uh, and it is in a single zone only. And currently if you see, it does only show zero bytes. So the 10 uh, GB should be good enough for a self-learning purpose. And the last part which I mentioned, how do we achieve it stopping at a specific thing is basically if you just go to your Cloud SQL instance, once you have done with it, say for example, you work from uh, 9 to 5 or uh, 10 to 6, whatever the time, you can have a small script where once you are done with the job, at the end of the day when you are closing your laptop, you can just run the small script like either click on this button to stop it or basically use this gcloud command gcloud sql patch the instance name activation policy uh, never this is one option or the third option is the the beautiful option where you can write a cloud sql uh, sorry a cloud function which is going to call a uh, this rest api and you can schedule this cloud function to run it at say for example at six o'clock uh, in the evening time we have cloud scheduler cloud scheduler and cloud functions they are going to provide you free tiers so we can leverage that so that's a, a better option maybe in the upcoming session i will try to show you one demo where i can schedule a, a job using cloud functions and scheduler with the help of scheduler and cloud functions and how we can achieve it okay so these are three options which can help you to shut down so basically you can stop your virtual machine but when you stop your virtual machine, uh, please make sure uh, there's one information here. Instance charge will not be there, but the storage and the IP address, whether it is internal or external, these IP addresses are basically static IP address. So they are going to be charged basically is what it indicates from this documentation. So, so that's the video which I wanted to share today, folks on how to create a, a low cost uh, Cloud SQL instance only for self-learning purpose. Okay, as a continuation, I'm going to do a, a small a cloud functions with cloud scheduler where I can schedule something to stop 
at a scheduled time at a specific time okay so that's a video which i wanted to do it in the future uh, hope this video is helpful thank you for watching